Hi there and welcome to John's Waters Joint where we're still in AliExpress anniversary sale mode. I released my top 10 gala watches the other day and it has proved very popular. Today's video will bring you 12 budget belters, most of which are under £100 or $130, excluding any applicable taxes and duties of course. And then around the sale start on the 18th of March, I'll release another video where things should be a little clearer and I'll be looking at the best deals and some more premium choices for you. I know it's going to be impossible to please all with my choices, but I'll do my best, guys. I will leave links to the most obvious choices, i.e. Steel Dive 1953, Steel Dive 1970, etc, etc, below today's choices, so you've got a reference point for that as well, especially if you're new to AliExpress. These are the places to start. Right then, let's grab this sale by the lapel, shall we? Now my first watch today is actually from Mille Fortic, a newer brand, a sister brand of Boltony, and we all know Boltony for their quality and value for money. So Mille Fortic being a sister brand, I expect high quality. I have seen a couple of reviews, don't worry, it is on my radar. I want to ask you whether I should get it in or not. One or two of you don't like the name, however it does seem to offer good value. £128 just now, with coupons off it comes down to 122 Will they discount it further being a sister brand of Boltony? That's questionable, but £122 is not bad. Seiko NH35, very unusual. I expected an NH38 being a sister brand of Boltony, but maybe that's where they're cutting corners. However, they're priced pretty similarly, aren't they? So, a bit strange that one. But when you look at the rest of the pictures here, it looks to be an accomplished watch, this one. The loom looks exceptional, and those cathedral hands do glow in the dark well, so... Having a look at that, let's have a look at the specifications here. I'll bring it up for you just now. This one is 39mm in diameter, 46mm or so lug to lug. Let's have a look. 46.8 lug to lug, standard 20mm lug width and only 12.1mm high. That can't be bad at all. So a good set of specifications there. Let's have a look at some of the other pictures. The question would be though, Given the escapement time, do the same watch, the Murph homage, for around about £43. Is there value here for you? Are you better just going for the escapement time? Even though they're not involved in the sales, I think £43 does represent good value. So this is a kind of two for one for me. I'll leave a link to this one and right next to it, I'll leave a link to the escapement time version as well. I still think the escapement time version is really good value for money. But this one is worth a mention because it's new and it's a sister brand to Boltony. So I thought I had to bring it up, guys. So that is my first choice of the day and it's kind of a two for one. And you'll be pleased to know this is the most expensive watch on today's list. So we started high and we'll just get lower. Right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, choice number two and it's a different choice for me. It's a tank homage. I like the look of this one, the fact you can change things up, you can buy the watch and the alternate bezels for it too and the kit costs £84 but with coupons you can take £6 off of that at the price and I'll take it down to £78 which is around about $100 US dollars. That can't be bad at all and it gives you the look of three different watches. Let's have a little look here. It does look pretty special doesn't it? I like the look of this guys. Floats my boat. I think it's definitely worth a look at these sort of prices. You never know, it's from the Bernie official store as well. They might discount it even further in the sale. 35mm in the amateur, model AM136M, lug to lug 44.5, case thickness only 10mm, and the strap width is a standard 20mm. That's not bad, guys. It looks pretty decent, doesn't it? For the price, that's a lot of watch. Definitely a lot of watch and I love that blue colour with that blue bezel insert. That would be my favourite and my choice. What do you think guys? Should I get one of these in during the sale? Let me know in the comments. Miota 8215. I've worn a lot of Miota movements guys and I have to tell you they are extremely accurate. Every bit as accurate as a Seiko NH35. If you don't mind some of that rotor wobble, I don't have any issue with it guys. So it's not something to be really worried about. It's a pretty cool watch this one. Does it have any loom? It does, yeah, just on the hands, which is kind of expected in this style of watch. Yeah, can't be bad, guys. I'll leave a link to this one below in the description. Next up, we have a brand new release from Addy's Dive, the AD2048. I currently have this one in this colour in for review, though I do have it on the bracelet. You would have seen the unboxing from my haul a week or so ago, uh, so you can go back to that and reference that one. 
but I have to say I'm very impressed by the dial on this watch. Not so impressed by the bracelet that's supplied or the fit of the bracelet. However, that can be forgiven if you're just going to put it on a leather or a military strap. That would be the way I would go with this one. All will be revealed in the review, hopefully prior to the sale going live. I'm working on it as we speak. Uh, this one does have a couple of quirks with it though. First of all, we'll get into the dimensions. The dimensions of this one are 39mm in diameter, 49 lug to lug, and it has a standard 20mm lug width as well. 200 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal, screw down crown, screw down case back, exactly what you expect. So that's no issue at all. One issue I have is this. The loom is non-existent on the silver version. The silver version only has loom on the hands, whereas the black version has loom on the hands and the indices, as can be seen here. I got this in a kind of a pre-sale deal. Maybe that's why I got it so cheap. If the silver ones do ship without any loom on those indices, it's a bit of a faux pas here because I certainly would have expected it on those little hour dots around the outside there, just so you can orient yourself in the dark when the watch is on your mantelpiece. But that's the way I would see it. But it is a very nice looking watch, it's very nice to handle, wears well, that's the main thing, though not so well on that chintzy bracelet, it's a bit of a shame. However, I have to say they have nailed the look of the watch that they're homaging very well, it's a very nice dial indeed, so it's certainly worth considering, though I prefer to see this one at a price of around about £75 or so, that would be my recommended target price for this one. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next up we have a Tandorio. Any sale worth its salt has to have a Tandorio in it. And it's not the last Tandorio today. There is another as well. This one is paying homage to a very famous brand. A brand that was actually homage by x -Dow last year. A brand that I really liked. It did wear a fraction large for me and my eyes were bigger than my belly with that one. So it wore a bit large and this one wears pretty much the same. I think if you're six and three quarters upwards you'll get away with this one because it wears quite big. The thing for me though with this one, I didn't get it in simply because it doesn't have that Milanese with the end links that I really like. That's what attracted me to the x out in the first place. There's no denying, £61 or round about, what, US 79 US dollars? You can't really go wrong at that. At the moment, it's on a choice deal for that. Now, you have to make a decision here, guys. I remember last year at this time, there were choice deals going on up until the anniversary sales started. And then when the sales started, there really wasn't much difference or some of the prices were actually more expensive. So you've got to make the choice. Do you go early and get a choice deal like this one or do you wait until the sale happens and see if you can get it even cheaper? That's a decision only you can make. You've all seen this one. Let's have a quick look at the specifications here. There were two movements available, the NH35 and the PT5000. However, it's just the NH35 now, which is still a great movement. This one is 39.8 millimeters, so basically it wears like a 40. The thickness is nearly 14, and it's got quite a long lug to lug. I believe it is over 48 millimeters, so it does wear quite big. So anyone with a larger wrist, you're going to really appreciate this one. It's a beautiful looking watch, there's no two ways about it, and there's plenty of colours to have a go at. I do like this one though, it's a beautiful colour. So have a good look at it guys, have a think, and uh, I'll leave the links down below in the description. So we're nearly halfway, this is watch number 6, and this has to be here on merit. It's another watch from Addy's Dive, and this is one of the watches that I reviewed last year. Everyone's sick to death of GMTs, but this watch just has to be included for the value for money quotient here. £47.57, round about 60 US dollars. It just has to be there. A Ronda 515 24 hour quartz GMT movement. Really good set of specs. Death defying loom on this one as well. It's a beautiful watch. Standard set of specs that will fit most wrists as well. 39mm in diameter, 48 lug to lug, only 12.8mm thick. Yes, there might be a caveat for some people in that it doesn't have a sapphire crystal, but I have to say the value for money here is just incredible and it has to be on the list today. Here are some more images of it. Look at it. It is just superb. It really is a bonny looking watch for that kind of money. And again, it's one of those questions you have to ask yourself, £47 now or do I wait? I'm not going to go into this any further, guys. It's a simple yes or no with this one. And I think a lot of people will be really taken by this when they see it. Proper milled clasp with plenty of micro adjusts as well. And you can see there the finishing on this watch for the price is exceptional. So one of the best watches on this list today, I think anyway. But that's my personal opinion, of course. Right, let's move on to the next one. 
Now for my next watch, we have yet another Tandurio. Now I'm going to switch images here. I'm going to take you towards the big crowned version. And the reason I'm taking you towards this big crowned version is to answer a question. I've had two or three snippety comments in the last month saying, I don't wear my watches in the correct position. It should be above the knuckle. Well, I say pla to that. I'll wear my watches how I like to wear them. However, I wear my watches this way because it's most comfortable to me. Why? Six years ago, I had two frozen shoulders. First the right shoulder, which is 95% healed, and then the left shoulder, which unfortunately hasn't healed properly to this day. I've only got 80% mobility in the shoulder and rotation of my arm. That means I like to wear the watch low and loose so I can grab it with my other hand. And it also helps because in Scotland, eight months out of the year, we have a jacket on. So the watch hangs below the jacket as well. So hopefully that is that one ended. Apart from that, this is a beautiful little watch, guys. You can see the crystal in this one is top quality too. I do prefer the big crown version simply because it's easier to manipulate in a hurry. You know the thing, you get up in the morning, you got to set the time, you got to get it wound. A bigger crown makes it a lot easier. So plenty of different styles in this one as well. I just picked one out here because I like this W10 style. Cracking watch for £51 or so with the NH35 movement in it. You can't opt for a PT5000, but as you can see there, it's a lot more expensive. I would stick with the NH35, around about 65 US dollars or so. It's not a lot of money, is it, guys? Hopefully they'll come down even further in the sales. They're renowned for going down as low as £40, £45. I think the dimensions on this one are 36, yeah, 36 millimetres by 41.5 millimetres lug to lug by 14 millimetres thick. It is a chunky little monkey, but it does have a dome sapphire crystal with AR coating. And you can see it does a very good job. I'm not going to say any more about this one, guys. It's a great little Tandori at a budget price. It's got to be on the list. If you've been watching this channel, you'll recognise this watch. I have this very watch in for review just now. Not been reviewed as yet, as I have a stack of watches to go through. This is a C7063M from Carison. It has a dial diameter of 42mm, case thickness of 12mm, and it has quite a long lug width of just under 50mm. It does say it has 50 meters of water resistance, but I never trust that, especially with chronograph watches. This has the Seiko VD53 quartz movement inside it, and as you can see there, the bracelet width is 19mm, which is fine because it comes supplied on its bracelet, and 19mm straps are quite commonplace these days as well. Comes in three colours, this colourway here, which is the one I opted for, you get the reverse of this, and then you get the black PVD version, which I think may suffer from legibility issues. Does come in a butterfly clasp with no half links, of course, that's one of the caveats of getting a butterfly clasp, but I think it's certainly worth a look. If you're into the Belova Lunar Pilot, then this should be on your radar because it's smaller than both the Lunar Pilot and also the Lunar Pilot Reduced. There's not many images of this, guys. When you go down, there's not many to see here. The loom on this one is not bad. It's quite sharp, but it's not bad at all. But I think it's certainly worth a look at this price. Okay, let's move on. Next up, we have a new kid on the block, Militado. And this is their version of the khaki, but this one's got bells on. It has both a better strap and a better crystal than the escapement time. And at £53 or $68 US dollars with that coupon taken off, it certainly represents really good value. £53 and then the escapement time is £40. That means you're getting a better strap and that sapphire crystal for a mere £13. It can't be bad, can it guys? And it still has that Seiko VH31 sweeping quartz movement in it. But this certainly does offer better value. Some of the images of this one look really good. You also get it in different colours too. You get it in green and you also get it in that white, which is sold out unsurprisingly. And you've got it in that black. So it can't be bad. Really good Super Luminova on this as well. C3. This is the ML02. Any other images of this one here? Yeah, there it is there. They've really taken that aesthetic and ran with it. You can see those little triangles around the outside. They're even encapsulated in white. You get a better strap altogether. And that sapphire crystal, it really has to be an option for you guys, doesn't it? Looks very good indeed. All right, I'll move on. Now, before I move on to the next watch, I would just like you to take a second and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps with the algorithm as the algorithm is God on YouTube. So I want to be in his good books, so don't let me down. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free and you won't miss any future videos. Thank you. Right then, what's the next watch?
Well, the answer to your question, Johnny, is this one. Yes, it's the Heimdallr Monster version 2, and it represents fantastic value. If you ever wanted a Seiko Monster, but you couldn't afford one because they are quite expensive to get a hold of now, this is the way to go. And at this kind of price, you really can't say no to this. Superb choice of colours, big, chunky, show-off diver. It really has to be on your list. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie in plenty of colours. You've got it in that lovely burgundy red colour. Got it in the frost, got it in the standard orange, and then you got it there in the blue with the blue bezel. I really like that, actually. I didn't realise you had that colour. I thought that was the colour there, but you actually get this version of it too. Really cool the way they've done that with the crown also. I really do like this. £79.90 just now. Goodness me, just over $100. Wow, what a deal that one is. Really, there's no thinking about this one. If it's something you've been looking for, Certainly got to be in your basket. The case diameter is 45.3, but the lug to lug is just under 48, so you'll easily get away with it. Case thickness 13.6 millimeter, and you got a sapphire crystal as well. NH36 with your date and date as well. They're calling it the deep sea monster here. So it's just a classic dive watch, the kind of thing you want to wear on your summer holiday when you're going scuba diving, or even if you're just out with the flip flops at the pub. Who cares? It's a cracking watch that'll get people talking all the time. Great choice, guys. Great choice of colour. You never know, it might come down even further in the sale. Now, this next watch will surprise you. It's a Pagani design, and it's in one of my best of videos. Okay, it's the budget belter section, but however, I've still got a Pagani design on one of my lists. I was really taken by this one, actually. I have to be really fair here, and I have to be fair to Pagani design. Pagani design, if you're listening, I know you've got the chops to do this. It just seems that you're lazy and you just won't do it and it's frustrating for all us guys out here who are willing you to do it properly. If you could just sort out your bracelet choices, make sure you have decent clasps on them, that would sort that issue out. And then also if you just sort out that loom problem, which you have done two or three times before, and then you revert back to type and then it stops. I don't know why that is guys, but this one I would give it a good 8 out of 10 even though the loom wasn't that good on it. I would say to you here, if you've got plenty of straps, buy it on the bracelet to see if it fits by all means. However, if you buy it on the strap, it's costing you the same price. So it's up to yourself whether you want to do that. I got the brown one, and it was actually very good, very supple as well, and it suited the head of the watch. Wait to see what happens with this one in the sale. I'll update links to all of these watches, by the way, guys, as I go along to make sure they're currently up to date for the sale. So don't worry about that, that's my job. Uh, have a look at some of the other pictures here. There you go. Yeah, it's really quite cool. And this is the specification sheet here. So you're looking at 39mm in diameter, 46mm lug to lug. It is quite chunky at 13.5mm with that tonal style of head on the watch. But uh, yeah, it works really well. 20mm standard lug was in there as well. And you have that Seiko VK movement in there, keeping it all ticking over very nicely. If you can get it for a really decent price, forget that price there, that's a different watch altogether. £70 just now, if you can get it round the £60 mark, it's good value for money. And it's got those lovely square period pushers on it as well. Really cool watch, guys. You'll love it if you get one of these. And it's not often I say that about a Pagani design watch. This next watch was a big surprise for me last year. Bodhery reached out to me and asked if I would do a review and they promptly sent a watch in a small plastic shipping container. I made a bit of fun of it, but I couldn't make fun of the watch. The watch for the price was absolutely superb. This is a full titanium field watch. It is very similar to a Bertucci that I used to own three or four years back, but the quality is certainly a lot higher than this one in my opinion. This one just now you can get for £74, which is just under $100, US dollars, but that does not include the titanium bracelet. If you want to go for the titanium bracelet, it will cost you £109, which is up there to about $150. US dollars. It's still a great watch, and that's not just because of the looks, it's also because of the specifications. It's a titanium watch, but it is an automatic titanium watch. It has a Seiko NH35 movement powering it. And it also has a sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance, and has a screw down crown and a screw down case back. The other thing that really surprised me as well is how good the loom was on this watch. Though I have been told the loom quality does depend on the colorway that you opt for, so that's something to be cognizant of as well. You don't just get it in titanium, they also do it now in bronze as well, and uh, you will pay a premium for that because it comes with a leather strap and all the hardware. The basic titanium model with a nylon strap will cost you that £74. 
If you go for the full titanium, it's £109. If you go for a bronze, it's £109, but that comes on a leather. Specifications-wise, it was quite a big watch. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It's a solid titanium case, 40mm in diameter, and it wears every bit of that 40mm, 12mm thick, and the lug-to-lug -lug is 48mm, but do remember that 48mm is on the case. If you take into account those male end links on the bracelet, then you're looking round about 52, 50 c round about that sort of area, so it's something to be very aware of. But I really can't fault the watch. It was superb on the wrist. Anyone out there with a wrist size bigger than mine, 7 inches and up, you're going to love this one. It's a really cool watch, one to look out for. And if you can get a good deal during this sale, it's certainly worth a good look. So I suggest you get it in your basket and see what happens. Right, let's move on to the last watch. Right, thank you so much guys, we are on the last watch, and it is my wild card. This is from the Carnival Watch Factory Direct sales store. <laughs> this is from the Carnival Watch Factory Direct sales store, that is a hell of a mouthful, and this is the INW Carnival Watch. It is definitely in sports watch or GADA territory here. It's at £83 just now, which is around about $110, US dollars There are some coupons for this one as well. Uh, so that'll take it down under 83. That has a Seiko NH36 in there. Yes, that's a day and date that you used to see back in the day. And it looks to be a really cool looking watch. This one, you get it in blue, you get it in green, you get it in black, and you get it in blue and gilt also. So let's have a quick look at this guy. Go through some of the images here. That's your NH36. Does come with a butterfly clasp. Looks pretty decent. If the loom is like that in real life, this is quite a lot of watch for the money, guys, isn't it? Then you got your model in the background there making the watch look as good as possible, but this watch does look pretty good, doesn't it? Specifications-wise, this one is 41mm in diameter, and it has a thickness of 12mm, so not bad at all, and it's got a typical bandwidth of 20mm, 100m of water resistance, and a sapphire crystal. Let's have a look at some further pictures of this one. So you even got a signed crown there, finishing looks pretty good, so you got a mirror polish on the top and the bezel. You've got those nice little cutouts on the bezel itself, signed crown. And there's that different fit, that looks really good, doesn't it guys? I like the look of this. Very smart indeed. So that is my wild card for this sale guys, never seen it before. Sometimes you just want to look for something a little bit different, and I think I've found something a little bit different here. I'll leave it there just now guys, that's my wild card for just now, so as I said before, I will update all these links as I go along, because things will change on a dime, and I'll have to be quite quick with these things as well. Thank you so much for your patience, please remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'm off for a whiskey. See you later guys, ta for now.